Stop licking the toads. You hear me? Stop licking the toads. National Park Service has put out a bulletin for frequent travelers and other tourists to stop licking the toads for psychedelic purposes. Yep, you heard me right. So let's get into it. Stop licking the toads, people. So the feds tell national park visitors to stop licking psychedelic toads. So basically what's happening is there's a Colorado river toad. That's a pretty big toad. It's pretty noticeable. People have been licking it to get basically a DMT effect because how popular DMT has been from Joe Rogan and other places like that, you know, so people have been figuring out that if you lick this toad, you can have a psychedelic trip, but that is definitely not the way you want to go about it. I mean, you're licking a toad, like it's a toad. Don't, don't lick toads. Just leave the toads alone. Don't lick the toad. There's no reason to lick toads. You can get way better DMT synthesized. So basically what's happening is people are going into national parks and finding banana slugs and mushrooms and large toads and basically licking things. And it's apparently has to be a big enough problem for people to actually put out a bulletin saying, please stop licking the toads. <laughs> I don't, I don't really know what more you can say about that, but I thought that was a great story to open up with. People are apparently are licking toads. And basically this whole article just talks about uh, DMT and the DMT experience and where people are coming, getting these ideas. As you can see, there's this cute little toad sitting here, but he's got these glowing eyes at night. So that's may, maybe that's how people are finding them. I guess there's a certain part in Colorado where there's just a ton of them. So people have been going down there and grabbing toads for hallucinogenic purposes. So just friendly reminder, guys, don't lick the toads. And this is the Dub Nug Show. Welcome to the Dub Nug Show. This is how we're starting it off to end the week with psychedelic toads. So we also have another story of the Washington bill to protect workers from being fired for marijuana committee hearing next week. So basically this whole bill in Washington, they are trying to get rid of the drug testing. Well, cannabis drug testing anyways. What they're doing is passing, passing a bill or at least trying to pass a bill in 2023 that will no longer require THC drug testing in Washington. There's a ton of other states that have done this, um, California being one of the big ones, uh, Washington, D.C., Utah, Louisiana, New Jersey, New York, uh, Washington State. So these are just things that are kind of happening in 2023 because of legalization and because there's, I mean, it's basically like trying to test if somebody was drinking a beer off of work. It You, you can't do anything about it. It, this does not get rid of somebody being able to be fired for literally smoking on the job. So if you are caught high at work, if you are caught smoking on, on the job at work, you can be fired for those things. So it's not like you have a free for all for weed. It's still go to work, do your job, smoke when you're at home, and then you're good. But you just, it won't affect you from trying to get another job. So if you go in and you've been at a dead end job because they're the only ones that allow you to smoke weed and they know you smoke weed, this allows you to actually go work wherever you want and not have to worry about that THC drug test failure putting you down. So that's, that's a pretty big deal. It's nice to see a lot of other states that are doing this. Mainly what I've noticed is a lot of states that already have legalization are basically going through this route, which is good. It's um, only a matter of time before federal legalization happens. And I have a feeling that 2023 is going to be a pretty big cannabis heavy year as far as like legalization and laws being passed. So we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully we get something really nice here. Next up, we have marijuana legal legalization boost job opportunities in the agricultural sector. Well, I could imagine you have to grow weed in order to have weed. So you need people to grow weed. Growing is agricultural, therefore you need people in the agricultural field. So that would kind of just make sense. But what was happening is there was this huge push before legalization that was saying that because people are just going to be all burnouts and smoking weed instead of going to jobs, that they will all be basically the labor force will go down, uh, crime will go up, all of poverty will go up, all of these things they're saying 
were going to happen if you legalize cannabis. And then they took a, you know, they took a chance on it. They legalized cannabis. And now that we're, I don't even know how many years into this. I think this one is in California, San Diego. Yeah. So what? I think it's over 10 years now. Maybe, maybe not. I could be wrong on that because, so they did this test and, or they did, they were doing this study in San Diego, basically monitoring the people of, of age employment. So if you are a normal in the workforce person, they're kind of monitoring to see if more people entered the workforce, less people entered the workforce. What are those people's ages? What are their opportunities and what jobs are they doing? And they put all those factors in and they started looking at, actually they did this among California and Colorado and Oregon. Okay. So three states. What they were finding is that actually there are more people working. There are more people actually in lower income demographics, which were actually more unemployed sector of people. They actually went out and got jobs. So it's not like the rich people and all the rich people and all the people who are always working just went and got those jobs. It's people who normally would have just been on unemployment or were having trouble finding jobs. They found something, they were liked cannabis now that they are actually able to do it legally and get paid and pay their taxes and be a productive member of society. They hit the opportunity. They took it. That's all they wanted. It was the opportunity to do what they love to do and make a living off of it. And they were allowed that opportunity. They took the opportunity. And I don't know why it's such a, a surprise to these, some of these people that things would get better when you just allow more opportunity. I'm not saying you should have no regulation you still need to know what people are putting in there. I don't want someone spraying bullshit all over the weed and then selling that to everybody because that's only going to make things worse. That's only going to be bad. Like we don't need people getting sick. We don't need any type of disease or anything going on because you are smoking this stuff. It's very sensitive. So we should have regulation. I want to know what's going in. I want to know the terpenes that are available. I want to know the THC, the CBD. I want to know all, all of it. More information is better in my opinion. I mean, that helps me do my reviews, knowing the actual terpenes. And right now, not a lot of states actually do terpene testing. Some do, some don't. Here in Michigan, it's not required. So nine times out of 10, you're only going to get THC and CBD and when it was harvested and tested. You don't get a whole lot of information. So that's where the regulation needs to come in so we can get some more information on what we're actually ingesting. Basically, what they're saying is weed was going to take down the workforce, and that's not true. It never even happened. It actually helped the workforce. There's more people. And as you saw in the other article, there are more people. Now you can't even be fired. So now there's more people even smoking that are working that they had to put in a thing that's like, hey, quit firing people for just smoking weed. It's stupid. And think about how many people actually like jobs are available. Like we have a lot of like work to do. That was pretty much all I had for today. It's it's a Saturday. So there's not too much going on. They actually did pick a speaker of the house. So We'll actually get some type of bills coming through, whether they pass, who knows. We'll we'll kind of keep tabs on that. That's kind of the point. I actually get demonetized on my reviews because I'm actually smoking weed. So if you guys would do me a favor and go and watch those, like them, subscribe so you can see more because those ones are a lot harder to find. You're probably not really going to see them. They're not going to pop up on newsfeed if you do subscribe because they're age restricted. So if you could do me a solid, go over there and watch those. I uh, let me know the things that you want to see different strains, different products, different, different setting. Maybe you want to see me smoke out of joints instead of bongs. Maybe you want bowls instead of joints. It's like, maybe you want vapes. I don't, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, uh, comment, like subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.